Adam Savage here in the display area of my cave with a tested mailbag package that, that they will only tell me it contains Legos. I will tell you what I can surmise before I even touch this letter, that this package was wrapped by an engineer or an engineer adjacent. Um, I can tell this in two different ways. One is the precision of the folding on both sides speaks to someone of exacting tolerances. And <clears throat> frankly, the handwriting here, it almost looks like my handwriting. And I try carefully in my all caps handwriting to follow a kind of blueprint. I, there, I know there's a very specific, what do you call it, mechanical drawing font. And this looks like a, like someone's kind of used to that font. That's all I'm gonna say. We have a letter. Let's crack it open. An introduction, read me first, it says. Oh, in addition to a letter, there's some stuff. Okay. Dear Tested, I am Moto, a contestant on Lego Masters Fox Season 2. Mythbusters inspired me in part to earn my engineering and fine arts degrees. What did I say? What did I say? Uh, I enjoyed the Tested videos on YouTube and love that you enjoy Lego as well. This is a set I've put together as a gift. It's meant to be filmed for unboxing if you wish. Well, achievement unlocked. If there are any problems, please contact me and I can offer help and support. Whenever I eat asparagus. No, I don't need help with that. Um, Moto, he's Instagram at moto.lego. He's got a beautiful logo that is the, both an M, but it is also like an Escher version of Legos. It's an impossible object. That's neat. Yes, it's all about the stickers. <laughs> That's fabulous. Thank you, Moto. Okay, let us, uh, let us part the waters and see what's inside. This is incredibly generous of you to do this. There's another readme. Are you kidding? <laughs> is this like one of those reddits where I'm gonna open it up, it's gonna be concrete wrapped in zip ties? Remember when that was a thing? Is that still a thing? Please accept this gift. Dear Tested, please accept this gift as my appreciation for having you inspired me as a builder and a Lego artist. This is one of five handcrafted sets. I hope you enjoy the entire experience from unwrapping to completing the build. I've tried thoughtfully to construct a beautiful Lego art piece. Uh, if you decide to pass this along, please sign a page at the beginning of the first manual. Oh, lovely. Prepare to be delighted. Play well, Moto. Okay, second letter. We've got some really nice, what is this? Two and a half, three inch grow grain. Is it grow grain or gross grain? Or grows grain? Grow grain uh, ribbon. This is uh, sort of vertical stripes. Look at this wrapping. Oh, <gasps> yeah, this is an engineer. Look at that crap. This is amazing. I don't mean to say crap in any kind of derogatory way. Oh, well, whoa, 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 whoa. what could it be? <gasps> it is a custom spade. Oh my God, what a madman or woman. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so it's a spaceship called the Chrysalis 2. It is, he has done his own package design as if it was a Lego type set, except with his logo. And as part of an Astra Futro series, Futro space, <gasps> there are like pictures on the sides. This is ambition in a box is what this is. I love this. I love this kind of thing. I mean, When you are a young person and you want to show somebody what you can do, when you do something like this and you go to all this trouble, you tell a story that is volumes long about what your goals are and what you will do to get to them. And I really appreciate that. Oh my gosh, Jesus wept. Moto? Okay, wow. It continues. The madness 
continues. We have a red and a blue box. And another Moto logo. I mean, I'll tell you that um, the story I heard is that when Leslie Odom Jr. was uh, at, uh, in college, he saw a run through of Hamilton he saw a performance of Hamilton before it was complete that made him know he wanted to be in Hamilton. Leslie Odom Jr. knew that he wanted to play Aaron Burr in Hamilton. And when they finally called him to audition for the show for the public theater, he showed up knowing the entire libretto. He showed up for the audition with the entire libretto of the entire musical in his head. And when the interviewer said, what did you think you were doing? Leslie Odom Jr. said, you only get a few chances in life to express to someone just how badly you want something. And yeah, he really did. Moto, I, I, I really appreciate your attention to an insane level of detail. Red or black, which one do we open first? Well, let's, let's pull both of them. Oh, 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 no, it's not a true knot. Velcro, okay, so there's two spots. Yeah, there, so that's book one. And this is also Velcro, and here's more parts. So it's, wow, wow. Okay. Look at that. How lovely. We, let's just be clear. I am not building this set in this video. This is an unboxing. A build video has a different kind of title. So 1,685 steps. <laughs> almost 1700 steps that this is going to be an involved build without a doubt that is totally fine um pinch don't press when you connect pieces the step numbers will jump ahead chain of custody oh this is very sweet this is one of five original sets handcrafted one of five add your note and your signature if you pass it along so what he's saying is if i don't build it please pass it to someone who will build it which is a, frankly a gorgeous and lovely ethos yes you're right it should get built. It needs and wants to be built. Uh, I promise you, if I do pass it on, I will do that. But uh, this is... Tom Sachs talks about this kind of practice as almost like cargo cult. So the cargo cults were um, Pacific Islander... Uh, how do I say this? Because I'm not exactly sure of the history. But I know that during World War II, planes were landing in places in the world in order to refuel and refit. And they were landing among cultures that had never seen planes before. And when they came back a few years later, they found these cultures had built like bamboo and grass versions of the airplanes as this kind of magical thinking to hopefully bring these gods back from the skies with the gifts that they came with first. And Tom Sachs likes to talk about... Um, ambition and things like this as almost a cargo cult thing. Like Moto is building out an entire, not just a package, but an entire packaging concept, an entire idea behind the retail of this device. And if I was interviewing him for a job at a toy company, this would be all I'd need to see. I mean, this, I mean, this would be a significant notch in the good category of like, wow, this person is serious. They have boxed everything up by color. Yeah, this is, this is uh, some deep, some deep practice here and I'm, I'm here for it. Moto, I, I can't thank you enough. Just, just the, the graciousness of how beautifully engineered and assembled all this packaging is speaks highly of your skills. I'm glad that I surmised you were an engineer before I even started to open the box. I really can't thank you enough for this beautiful gift and uh, we will hopefully find a place to get this on the schedule to build it. If we do not, we will pass it on to someone who will build it and we'll love it. Uh, and this goes in my Christmas ribbon drawer, that's for sure. Moto, thank you. Everyone else, thank you for joining me for this unboxing tested mailbag show and tell and I will see you next time.